Hello everyone. Today we will go through the menus of the thermal camera and we will test it. To turn it on, we just need to press and hold this yellow button, the power button, for a couple of seconds and then it will turn on. When it's on, to go to the menus, we need to press the set and then it will take us to the menus. The very first menu is measurement. So we have three options. The center spot, and that is, will give us the temperature of the center spot only. This one, helio spot, is any spot within the screen that is hot, gets hot, will give us its temperature. And the last one, the region of interest, ROI, region of interest, this will give us a square or like a rectangle rectangular shape within the screen so any spot which is hot within that rectangle will give us the temperature its temperature anything outside of that rectangular uh, box it will not give us the temperature okay to go back we need to press this button the second option is palette different types of colors of the screen we have iron we have rainbow white hot red hot black hot lava and rainbow hc i don't know what does hc mean so different colors in the window okay so we go back and then we have point temperature so we have how many points of temperature do we need for the screen to show us? One, two, or three. Okay. And then we have image mode. We have a couple of modes. We have the thermal, so it just shows us the thermal view. Then we have the digital, and this is a normal camera, which is not thermal. And then we have fusion, which is combined the digital and the thermal cameras, both of them. And then we have the digital in the background, and we have a rectangle with the thermal imager. And then we have the alignment, which is like the same, which is the same like this the fusion one. It will combine both the digital and the uh, the thermal camera, the thermal image. Okay, if we go back to the settings. In the settings, we have language. We have just two languages, English and Chinese. Go back. Then we have date and time, temperature unit, Fahrenheit and Celsius. And also we have high, low alert. It will give us an alert when it detects high or low temperatures. Temperature scale, okay, we have low gain and high gain. We have display brightness, auto power off, USB mode. The USB is in here. We have USB type C and SD card. Okay, then we have measurements. We have three, three different options. Emissivity, ambient temperature, and distance. I don't know what do they mean by th th those options. I just know the ambient temperature, which is the outside temperature. Okay, then sit system settings. Device information, factory reset, format SD card, and auto save. Okay. So if you want to capture an image, we just press this trigger button. Now we will test it to detect a short in this motherboard. I'm going to inject the voltage using my lab bench power supply through this point where the short is, and we will go and we will watch this thermal camera, and we will see where is the short, what causes the short. 
okay okay now i will inject the voltage and we will see from the thermal camera what gets hot okay so we have this point this component getting hot which is this one and it's the pch it's the pch it's shorted out and as long as the pch in this motherboard integrated with the cpu it does not worth replacing it so this uh, motherboard will go to the bin thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much